Well, good morning, everyone. Um, so my name is Emmanuel. Uh, you know, at Shade, we've developed the first uh, semiconductor to measure UV exposure for health accurately. So although we do not analyze images directly, we do analyze electromagnetic spectrum, and we use techniques very similar to multispectra image analysis uh, that are being used in computer vision. So the problem is uh, very simple. Uh, there are a variety of diseases for which we know UV exposure has an impact. So we know UV exposure can cause skin cancer. We also know that uh, it can impact oncology treatments. And we finally, we know that uh, for some autoimmune disorders, UV exposure can have uh, dramatic consequences. Um, so uh, among all these diseases, melanoma is uh, unstoppable. Uh, it has been the fastest growing cancer. Uh, and despite every effort from the sunscreen manufacturer, uh, it's still um, growing at a fast pace. It has tripled over the past 30 years. Um, if you go to a physician for a UV sensitivity, you will hear the same advice over and over, despite your specificity, which is do not go outside and really best of luck. Um, that doesn't work. Uh, that's never worked. And so the, the solution we propose, of course, is to equip patients with a clinical grade sensor a mobile application and smart notifications so that they stay ahead of consequences. Because with UV exposure, when you feel the consequences, it's already too late. Of course, uh, to build consumer trust and to um, uh, you know, uh, impact behavior, you need accurate data. And uh, next slide. today, Shade is the only accurate sensor uh, available on the market by at least an order of magnitude. Uh, even compared, for example, to companies like Microsoft, who tried to measure UV exposure but, uh, but, but failed. Um, as uh, good scientists, we publish our data in a peer-reviewed journal that is uh, accessible here. Um, so, uh, as mentioned in the introduction, we've logged now over 2 million uh, measurements uh, of UV. And so we can start you know, noticing behavioral uh, characteristics among patients and across diseases. So here, it's, everything is anonymized, obviously. So we can't see much, but you know, if you go into the details, you will see the specificity. And this kind of data does not exist today and is a goldmine for uh, pharmaceutical companies who need to ensure the efficacy of the top-of-the-shelf drugs like oncology treatments. Um, of course, when you talk about personal medicine, you think immediately about genetics, which was mentioned just before. And I want to give you like um, uh, uh, an example that I like. So if you take identical twins, so they have the exact, exact same uh, DNA. Uh, and only 15% of both twins will develop melanoma in their lifetime, which means that 85% of melanoma uh, is triggered by the environment. Um, so uh, the NIH, the National Institute of Health of the US, recognizes that issue and is launching an unprecedented initiative to um, uh, you know, follow 1 million Americans over 10 years to understand how genetics and the environment impact the disease and specifically cancer. Uh, I would like to finish by analyzing our, our partners. So first, the academic partners with whom we, we run clinical trials. Uh, while Cornell Medicine, we have a large trial on skin cancer going on. Um, I'd like to thank the government agencies, so the NIH, specifically the National Cancer Institute. We've received a a phase two grant from them and the National Science Foundation, which is funding uh, our technology, and of course, uh, our private investors. Thank you very much.